Rachel Marie with Specialty Produce and today we're making one of my favorite salads, a caprese salad. And what you need for that is your mozzarella. I'm using a fresh buffalo mozzarella today. Um, you also need basil, fresh basil, uh, balsamic vinegar, olive oil, salt, pepper, and of course tomatoes. Now any tomato will work, whatever you prefer. Some of my favorites are the cherry tomato. Um, heirloom tomatoes are fantastic for this recipe. And also one of my go-tos are the on-the-vine tomatoes. Now these are perfect. They slice up beautifully and make the perfect little plate for putting all your other delicious crazy ingredients upon. So first what you want is um, slice up your tomatoes. And you just want to start by slicing it on its side like this. Usually cut the back off first. And then just slice it into nice little slices. Now tomatoes are, besides being delicious, mm -hmm. amazing for you health-wise. They've got vitamin C, K, and A. They're super high in lycosine, which is great for um, fighting off cancers and preventing heart disease and really good for your eyes as well. So now that your tomatoes are all sliced up, you want to take your cheese, which we have pre-sliced, and just place that on top of each tomato slice. You've got a piece of cheese to each tomato. And now using the cheese, um, some of you that are watching your weight, you um, might be worried about that, but actually the fat actually in the cheese, the little bit of fat that's there, helps your body absorb the lycosine. So go ahead and indulge a little bit in the cheese because it's good for your health. And so once you've got all your cheese placed, you want to go ahead and start adding all your other ingredients. First of all, um, the basil I think is a good place to start. I've pre-sliced up some of it. You can cut it with a knife or tear it with your fingers. Either way works perfectly fine. You just want to make sure you have some big chunks to place atop each slice. Just like so. And you can use as much or as little as you like. I am a huge fan of basil, so I tend to be a little bit on the heavy side as far as the basil application goes. And as soon as you've got that, you can add the rest of your spices. First, we a little bit of black pepper is always delicious if you like that. I do love black pepper. As much or as little as you prefer on yours. A little bit of sea salt is always delicious as well. Not too much, just enough to give it a little bit of a salty tang. And then olive oil, also another healthy fat that you can add to this. Just drizzle a bit on top, right on there. Last but definitely not least is going to be our balsamic. Now you can use any balsamic you like, but I highly recommend this new balsamic that we just got in its specialty. It's called a Tondo, which is a balsamic aged 12 years from Modena. And it is amazing. And you can see here on the bottle, it's kind of a thick, syrupy for me, the aging process. This stuff a little goes a long way, so you just want to take that. And when you buy the bottle, it comes with this nice little cap for drizzling on top. It's perfect. So I just drizzle that. You can see it's coming out slow because it is so syrupy. Right atop those delicious tomatoes. And this is just amazing. And this balsamic, I love it on the tomatoes with cheese because it's my favorite food, but you can use this on any number of things, cheeses, fruits, even ice cream, a nice um, vanilla bean ice cream with this, amazing. So, oh my gosh, even by itself, <laughs> so good. So there you have it, your tomato salad, pretty much perfect just as is, nice and fresh, a good starter for any meal that you might make or just a snack if you're hungry. I snack on it almost every day, actually. <laughs> so, my favorite salad from me to you. I hope you enjoy. This is Rachel at Specialty Produce.